out here in Minneapolis, Minnesota, and the planners are visiting LifeSpark. It's a whole person senior services company. They got a range of services from pre and post acute care. And what they're really doing is they're keeping seniors healthy, they're keeping them in their own homes, and they're keeping them out of the hospital. So the plan is that LifeSpark's chief technology officer, Jason 1L, he's on the way to pick me up. We've known each other for like four years, but we never met in person. So he's going to pick me up, show me around, and show me how they're keeping seniors happy, healthy, and in their own homes. And, uh, I really hope he gets here soon because it is 27 degrees out and I did not pack correctly. Whew. Jason, how we doing, bud? You doing good? You ready to do this? Ready, man. Beautiful morning in Minneapolis. You survived the cold. Yeah, we're not in, we're not in California anymore, <laughs> clearly. <laughs> All right, let's hit it. All right, so we've you know we've worked together for like four years on projects, and you always say that your goal is to help seniors age magnificently. Yeah. You know, what's that? Uh, what's that mean to you? So LifeSpark, of course, we care about um, taking care of the health of our members, but to us, our mission is so much bigger than that. Uh, we really care about giving them the best experience through kind of the autumn of their life. We deploy something called uh, life management services, where the, each member gets a life manager. And that life manager, think of them really as part of the member's family as opposed to part of a care team. Um, they really sit uh, with that member through many years and really get to know them and help build out what we call a life plan, which is so much bigger than a care plan. Um, it really focuses on our members' desires, per their purpose in life. And we build out this holistic plan of which we not just put on paper, but we actually fulfill with that member throughout the years. You know, when you you know, talk about why you do this, you know, why you're so passionate about this. You say you're always changing the age old story. Yeah. You know, what, what is that age old story and you know, why do you love what you do here? Yeah, that's a great question. So, I mean, all of us have parents, grandparents that we've probably witnessed go through what we call is kind of our villain is this roller coaster uh, of the sick care system, which really ends up with many um, people as they age ending up in senior facilities, right? And so I don't want that for my mom. I don't want that for my grandma. Yeah. Um, and so when I heard about LifeSpark's mission around going above and beyond that and really giving them an amazing experience at their home, uh, I got excited. And so what drives me is building technology to help humanity in some way. And so the mission of LifeSpark really connected with me of how can we build technology and utilize technology to really um, deliver a different kind of care for these people. So what's really exciting about today is that we're gonna meet you know, one of your life managers as you referenced, and then she's gonna be helping out an actual patient you know, or member as you call them. Yep. You know, what kind of things should I be looking out for? What kind of things should I ask her? I really think you should ask her about her overall experience so far with LifeSpark. You know, that's really what we're trying to do is be very different than her typical um, interaction with the healthcare system. Yeah. Okay, so I see Kelly's car here. We're almost in Margie's house, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna hand you off. I'm excited. Well, Jason, thanks for setting this up. I appreciate it. I think we might meet up a little later today. Is that the plan? It is. And hey, one more thing. You're going to be fulfilling one of Margie's life goals today. Okay. So uh, have fun with that. All right. I, I guess I'm looking forward to it. All, All right, right, Jason. Thanks <laughs> for setting care. it up. Bye. Jason. Kelly, how are you? Nice to meet you. Great to meet you. I'm Kelly, life manager with LifeSpark. Thanks for having me out. It means a lot. Yeah. All right. So you're a life manager. Tell me what that means and what you're doing day to day. What we are here for is to help people age magnificently. We have nurse practitioners and clinic nurses that come to members' homes if they need care at home. And that's been just amazing, especially for some of our members that are homebound and have a difficult time getting out to the doctor. We really look at our members as a whole person approach. You know, if they're feeling lonely and isolated, you know, we look at maybe finding them a, a support group or seeing if there's a senior center that has classes for them, if they need help with finding healthy food, you know, and sometimes it's just the visits, our visits and, and seeing them and, and coming and talking to them is uplifting for them. Sounds like you do it all. Oh, it's and, amazing. Uh, it must be really fulfilling. Who are we going to meet today? So we're here we're meeting Margie and Tony. They are uh, members of LifeSpark and they've been members for many years. They're just a great couple. So they're excited to meet you. So come on out and I'll introduce you. I'm excited. Let's do it. Sounds great. So 
Tell me about these hats in this fashion statement that I'm making right now. Well, um, a few years ago, Tony wasn't able to go fishing and, and do any sports or anything anymore. But he started feeling better and he wanted something to do. So we went up and <laughs> got some yarn and a weaving thing and he started weaving hats and he's making hats and making hats and making hats. And we've taken up bags of hats to the school and we hand them out for Halloween and we sent them to relatives that whether they wanted them or not. <laughs> every hat is unique. Yes. Just like I think every person, every member, every patient's unique. And you know, you're coming in, the care's not coming to you, you're coming to them. You know, what's that like and how does that change the manner in which you're kind of delivering care? Other EMRs that we've used have been a little bit more black and white and regimented. You know, where Salesforce and Health Cloud is really intuitive, we ask questions looking at, you know, social support and thinking in memory and finances. And if they have anything that they need help with, the, the questions bring it out and then it helps us to create a life plan. And it seems like it's more than a, a care plan. <laughs> You said this is a life plan. Yep. You know, what does that entail? What's that look like? And how are you working with them on creating that together? You know, everybody's life plan is different. It really depends on what their goals are and what they want to accomplish in life. And when we go through the questions in Health Cloud, you know, it helps us to narrow things down for what people's goals are. It's almost like going on vacation because you can see the future and you can make more plans again and you can know that there's that support and that help out there. LifeSpark started letting me have the confidence to know that I can go for two or three hours and go shopping, go out to lunch with friends of mine and be confident that Tony will be taken care of. So we get to help our members accomplish their goals. Whatever um, is important to them is what we want to help them to, to do. Today we are going to do something pretty amazing. We're going to take Margie out and accomplish one of her wishes. What is that wish, Margie? What are we doing? I'm getting a manicure. <laughs> <laughs> are we really getting manicures together? Yes. Is that what? <laughs> yes, right now. Let's go. Come to the salon. Okay. All right, so it's you and me. It's 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 a it's a spa date. Let's do it. Right, this is a first for me. I'm in. Get my nails done. day. All right, Margie. Here we go. All right, Margie's day. I'm ready. Let's do it. What color did you pick out? I don't know. Okay. I, she had too many choices. Yeah. One of each, I don't know. <laughs> I need more toes. <laughs> so, you know, it's been a challenging last year and a half for most everyone. You know, what was it like for you? Claustrophobic. Grateful that we didn't have to go out and go to doctor's offices and sit there. They came right to our house. Were there any things that you felt like you couldn't do before LifeSpark came along and now it feels like you can do a little more of that? We couldn't do anything. Going grocery shopping was a chore. Before, I mean, I was able to do a lot of it, and Tony thought he could help, but just walking around the store, he would get tired. I would have to load up all the groceries into the car, bring them into the house, and put them all away. That's exhausting. I mean, I think we're doing really well compared to some people. I don't know of anybody that has a health plan that lets people come to their house. Mm. I can't think of anybody. Kind of following up on that, what does it mean to have someone that you care about come to your house and help you out? Calm. Mm. Calm. That's what life spark is. Mm. Calm. I can breathe. 
Mm. And in turn, if I, if mama ain't happy, nobody happy, <laughs> you know? I mean, does this feel like something that's as important as daily medication or seeing friends or loved ones or exercise? This is one of those moments where you wish you could hold it, you know? Just put it in a bottle and I can remember that when I'm having a bad day. I'm gonna go home tonight and journal and I'm gonna try to remember. It's good to have things to look forward to, huh? Yeah. Am I invited back for ice fishing or? You come back to the over the house and he'll set you up. All right, it's a deal. I appreciate it, Margie. Take care. All right. Hey man. What are we doing? I'm going fishing. Do you want to go? Yeah. I'm in. Let's <laughs> do it. I've been on the Salesforce healthcare team for over four years. I have never had this kind of a hands-on experience where I've like actually met a patient and you can't fake what Margie was saying, which was there was a life for her before LifeSpark and a life after. So, I mean, how did you create such a patient 360 that she feels this way about LifeSpark? Well, first it starts, starts with our people, right? You saw Kelly and their interactions together. So those life managers really being a part of that family. But then we need tech to be able to enable that, right? So it's a combination of uh, that life planning you talked about, building those, those life planning pathways within um, Health Cloud, and then utilizing data to better understand Margie and all her needs so that we can really give Kelly the right insight at the right time to serve her. I mean, you're clearly a case study in using a system of engagement, but like, why not do this in the EMR? We needed something to come over top of those EMRs. We still suck in the EMR data, and it's really important uh, to get that data in, but we need to better understand all the aspects of Marjorie's life, how she consumes goods, her financial situation, how her house is. There's all kinds of other data that we need to know to really be able to prevent her going to the hospital in the first place. Yeah, and on top of the social to terms of health you just mentioned, you have active data, right? Like, how do you get that single pane and bring those all together? Yeah, that's a great, that's a great point. Getting data from all those places is one thing, making use of that is a whole nother, right? So an example would be, um, we deploy wearables watches out in the field to our members, and it collects their heart rate. Um, when we get a spike in that heart rate, that we can't just show that on a dashboard. We actually need to deliver that in the workflow for the life manager to see, to get triggered uh, and to then cause an intervention. They need to make a call on Marjorie and get out there and visit her. Well, you found some kind of secret sauce here and it's just impressive how your members feel about you. I mean, I gotta ask, like what's, what's next for LifeSpark? Yeah, so it's really exciting times for us because you're here in obviously cold, cold Minnesota. It's our, it's our primary market. <laughs> yeah. Um, but we're really uh, getting ready to scale nationally. Um, that's why we're really excited about our partnership with Salesforce that already has a footprint uh, all over the nation, all over the world. And we want to deliver this care everywhere. Well, hey, man, like, thanks for having me out here. It means a lot. I got to say, it's a little colder than on the West Coast, but, uh, but, but thanks for the invite. <laughs> yeah, I just love that you got to experience uh, the LifeSpark model uh, in real life. Thanks for coming out and joining us. All right, man. Thanks for having me. Yeah, sure. So you do a lot of fishing? No, nah, these are Kelly's poles. <laughs> Could have guessed that. <laughs>